What do you think is most important to keep an eye on? Well, obviously, you can look at GDP numbers, which are very, very low. And in fact, I think they'd be lower if they were more honest, because I think the deflator, which is used to take nominal GDP and make it real, I think it, they're artificially low, because I think inflation is higher than what the government admits. But look at what's happening in the labor market. Look at the decimation of higher paying full time jobs and the proliferation of low paying part time service sector jobs. Look at how popular Bernie Sanders was in the Democratic Party. Look at Donald Trump getting the Republican nomination. This is the result of voter frustration with a lousy economy. And so the Fed is trying to take credit for economic growth when all the evidence shows that we have economic stagnation at best. Capital spending is going way down. In a society like us, manufacturing is important. I don't care. Sooner or later, you can't just keep tweeting to each other. You can't text to each other. That's what that, we say we're a service economy. Every time, that's great. Oh, we're a service economy. What does that mean? That we text more to each other. Sooner or later, everybody is just going to sit and text to each other. And isn't that wonderful? So why should anybody work? Just sit there and text to each other or watch TV. So I am saying to you, this is what is happening as we speak. There is no capital spending is down. Obviously, it's capital spending in the last two years. I mean, it's just down four percent in the last quarter, which is unheard of when you don't have a recession. Okay, productivity. Productivity is not grown. In fact, it's the lowest point it's ever been as far as growth goes. These are very important things in a capitalistic system, and so unless you have a dictatorship. But, you're going to go the way of Cuba. Well, Cuba was a dictatorship, but it still went that way. But, but then you're going to go the way of Venezuela or Argentina. You're going to be in, in a major problem. No. We're, we, we are a capitalistic system. And you have to have companies that invest and have faith in their governments. And, we, and over the last eight years, we've become more and more at war with our governments, our companies. And you don't see them really spending. If you, if you want to get to 20% of children being homeschooled, that's going to mean a vast drop in the number of women in the workforce because it is largely women who are do, doing yeah. the homeschooling. A lot of women can't afford to give up their jobs to homeschool their children. Yeah. A lot of families can't afford that. And do we actually want to be encouraging women not to take part in the workforce because we know how valuable yeah, yeah. that diversity is? I, I'm just, I'm concerned about advocating homeschooling on this level when women are having such a hard time already staying in the workforce. Of course those are the problems created by what I'm trying to correct because they have to be in the workforce and they have to work and not take care of kids because of the system that we have because well, it's survival for them to. so you you are you are absolutely right there there is a choice matter of fact my wife and I are talking about this even if the conditions would have been bad in our public school system when we raise our kids we probably wouldn't have homeschooled you know for various reasons so it's not going to be for everybody it's not like you're closing down the schools and everybody's going to be homeschooled there's going to be uh, choices to be made and some some people will go out of their way for their children